Lights out. Have you ever had the urge to search for lost treasure, such as the fortunes of Captain Kidd, or the ancient Incas, or others closer to home? If you have, let me remind you of an old saying, Laros catch meddlers. What are Laros? Hmm, we shall see. Lights out. Friend, I never seen you before. I never been in these backwoods before. And how come you be a friend? Put that toy down. Put it down, I said. And I had enough trouble without an oaf like you pulling a shotgun on me. What you call me? Oaf? What's oaf? Put it down, I said. Who are you? What you do in these parts? I'm a school teacher. My name is Cecil Crofton. You don't look like no teacher. A man is often not what he seems. You sure you ain't a revenue? What you doing snooping outside my window? Snooping? I just wanted to observe you in your native habitat, Mr. Purdy, before we... Who told you my name? You'd be surprised how many inquiries I've made about you. Discreetly, of course. Mind if I take a sample? Liquor for my friends. You ain't no friend. You couldn't be more wrong. Well, Mr. Purdy, you mustn't be so belligerent. In your moonshine. It's been a long time. Mr. Purdy, in return for this little favor, I'm going to make you rich. Rich? Beyond your wildest dream. Nothing illegal. I don't do nothing illegal. I got a good standing in the community hereabouts. Of course, I make shine, but that ain't nothing bad. Do I look like a man who would do something <laughs> illegal? Take a good look. Do I? I wouldn't want to say for certain. What's that? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? My cat, Redbird. How come you carry a gun? You say you're strictly legal. Somebody might have followed me. I've gone too far to have anyone thwart my plans now. Anyone, do you understand? You think I'm going to let a million dollars slip through my fingers after all I've been through? Million dollars? Where's it at? Who it belong to? Why, it belongs to us. You and me. Did you ever see a million dollars? Oh. It's a delectable sight. I see it every night in my dreams. Dreams. And it ain't real. It's real enough. Purdy, for five years, I've worked, hunted, studied, given up everything, money, time, energy, everything. Now I'm at the end of the rainbow. It's here, practically in my hand. Would you like to share a million dollars? Mm -hmm. Of course you would. Why not? You're a poor man. But you've got two things of inestimable value. What's that? First, your truck. 
We'll need it. A million dollars takes up a lot of room. Where's it at? Not so fast. Ain't no million dollars hereabouts. I lived here a long time. That's where we come to the second part. Buddy, you've got information. Before we can share the cash, we have to share the information. Is that logical? What you want to know? You know of an old house around here that might have been rebuilt a long time ago? Rebuilt? What you want to know for? Oh, just curiosity. It's bound to be an old house. It probably has a legend connected with it. Huh? A story. I don't know any such house. Come on now. Uh, think. Oh. House come to mind. Over Yana there near the mountain. Uh. Yeah, and there's a story goes with it, like you say. Uh. My daddy heard it from his daddy. Long time ago, two Confederate officers came to this old house with a lot of trunks. Trunks? Yeah, and they stored them trunks down in the cellar. Of course, of course. And then a few days later, the Yankees came and burned the house down like they burned most of the big house. And later, the people rebuilt on the old foundation, and when they died, no one wanted to live there. So it standed unlived in for 40 years. What's the name of this house? People's name was Laro. Laro, Laro, it could be it. The name's come up before. Yes, it must be. There's an old saying, Laro's catch meddlers. The old folks used to say it to us kids to keep us from playing around that house. Mm. Someone passed an old time hoodoo on it. No one goes near it now. No one wants to go near it. I do. Where is this house? How far? What for are you so interested? What for are you got to go there? Gold. Gold? A million dollars belonging to the Confederacy. To the what? The Confederate States of America. Don't make me repeat everything. How come you know about this gold? I told you I was a teacher. I was a history teacher. Come on. Oh, no, I ain't going unless you tell me more about it. You've heard of Jefferson Davis, haven't you? Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, he and his cabinet and his family ran away from Richmond, April 1865. They had some wagons for the treasury funds and 60 naval cadets to guard it. Commanded by a naval captain named William Parker. The wagons contained silver and a ton of gold. A ton? A whole ton? They got as far as Washington, Georgia. And Parker crossed over to South Carolina. Stored the gold in a warehouse in Abbeville. He drew $40 a piece for the men and told them to scatter and go on home. Parker was killed by the Yankees. The gold was never heard of again. Somebody took it out of the warehouse. Who? You'll find it in those trunks you mentioned. In Laro House? Mm, American double eagles, some English and foreign money. Likewise, nuggets and bars. And it's all ours. Yours and mine. Uh, come on. Oh, no, even if there's gold in that house, I don't take with meddling. You said the house was deserted? Laro's catch meddlers. Doesn't the smell of all that gold prop you up? You can have a third, a third of a ton of gold. No, you said we share. I get the hat. Gold is mine. I hunted for it. I scarred the south for it. If you think I'm going to... I get the hat! It's my truck. It's my house. I told you about the house. Well, we'll see how much there is. There's plenty for both of us. No need to get excited. I get the half. We share fair and square. I'm your partner, like we said. If your partners, use the gun here. We don't need it. I takes the gun. You take me my glory hand. Your what? Glory hand. Good luck. Come from a man who's been hung. You are a superstitious fool. Who made that thing for you? Born made. I bought it from old Mrs. Petticoat. No place here for glory hands. I got place. Glory hand lead us to treasure. Truck's right outside. We're here, I reckon. Gotta go careful. Keep thinking what my daddy said. Laro's catch meddlers. Open it. the door open. Follow me.
that you cackled? It could have been. You close that door? Man can do what he likes in his own home. Now please go away, you're trespassing. <laughs> Everything up to date, modern. Cobwebs. Maybe you're the trespasser. Who are you? My name is Laro. That's a lie. There hasn't been a Laro here in decades. Has there, pretty? No. No, they ain't. I came back here to be alone. Quiet. I want to die in peace. Why do you disagree? Keep away from me. You'll die all right, but I may not be in peace. Freddy, have you ever seen this tramp? No, no, I ain't never seen him before. Hmm. I'm not a tramp. I repeat. I own this house. Now, what is it you want? A ton of gold. You know about that? You hear that, Purdy? Yes, I know about it, and I want it. It's in the cellar beneath us, in some trunks. But you won't get it, sir. You came here to get that gold yourself. I wouldn't touch it. It's not mine. Neither is it yours. We'll see. Tie him up, Freddy. That gold belongs to the Confederate States of America. There are no Confederate States of America. That's why no one can have the money. It belongs to nobody. Why do you tie me up? Maybe you can talk better that way. Now, where's the cellar door? Cellar's closed off. We open it. That's impossible, sir. When my father built this house on the foundation of the first, he purposely left no cellar door. Nonsense. There must be a cellar door here somewhere. No. Freddy, go outside see if you can see a door on the outside. Take that lantern with you. What else do you know? What's this story about somebody putting a hoodoo on the gold, huh? Quite true. My uncles brought upon themselves the spell you mentioned. Talk sense. It's true, sir. My uncles are down cellar now, guarding the gold. Cut that! I'm tired of you and your superstitions. What's the truth? I'll give you the truth, sir. My uncles were Colonel Michael Laro and Captain Nelson Laro. They brought the gold wagons this far after President Davis was captured. In June 1865, they proved themselves true to their lost country. They went down the cellar with the gold, said certain magic words that would shut them in there forever. See, it's real glory. Don't you see it worked? It opened the cellar door. Uh, it must have been fine. We just didn't see it in the dark. I know you lied to me again. No. Glory had opened the door. All right, all right. Let's go down the cellar and take a look. Mr. Crofton. It's true. A glory hand lights the way to hidden treasures. But I warn you, it carries no warrant of safety. I'd not go down cellar if I were you. A friendly word of warning. Hello? Uh, I wouldn't take your word for anything, and I don't need any glory, man. Come on. When I find that gold, I'm coming back here and settle with you right and proper. <laughs> Let's go. I'm down! There's nothing to be afraid of! Come 
Lousy. Them's dead folks. Huh. They're Confederate officers. Look at the old time swords. Confederate swords. Oh. He is dead. They're just well preserved like. Don't matter with dead folks. Pick a loud. Just wooden gummy. Come on. Let's. Hey, Doctor. Well, come on. Let's get after the gold. What's the matter with you now? That dead fellow floated up my glory hand. Just a puff of wind. Like a turnip that land. Ain't no wind down here. Shut up. We came down here on business. Mr. Crofton. Gold. Oh, you're waiting all this time for me. Oh, is all them trunks full? Must be. Beautiful, beautiful sight. But I've never seen so much riches. And it's half mine. It's going to take all the load of trouble carry. Come on, let's hustle this stuff up the stairs. All right. Where's them stairs at? Crofton. Crofton, where? Where's the stairs at? What? What'd you say? Cro Crofton! There's no stairs! What? Who there must be? What? They were right here! Eddie, you're not trying to trick me. No, of course not. I'm your partner. I'll get this gold out of here. I'll find these stairs somehow. I'm gonna light my glory hand. The glory hand, help us find the stairs. Yes, find anything. Get it lighted in a hurry. This gold out of here. Nothing gonna stop me. No, not you, no you, no you, Harold. Light it. But where's them stairs? Why ain't they there? They were there before. You have seen it work before. It happened. It opened the way to the treasure. I told you that Gordon Hammer is no good. It's a fake, I tell you, you superstitious idiot. Don't you call me idiot? I'll call you anything I please, you ignorant slob. Stand back, Curly! I've had enough of you and your stupidity. How would you like to stay down here with the Confederate general? Huh? Yes. You can stay down here with the Southern officers. You and your glory hand. You sound crazy. Crazy? Don't do no good to harm me. You can't get out of here by yourself. I'll get out of here and I'll get that gold with me. It's mine, you understand? I found it. You wouldn't have the brain. It's mine. It's half mine. It was my truck and it was my... No, Crofton, don't. No, Crofton, Cro please, no. I take the third like you said. I yeah. take the third of the gold. Here's your third. And here's the list. Who's with it? So you take a third, eh, Purdy? Isn't that nice? A little too late for that. You'd never get out of here, Crofton. Laros, catch meddlers. told you, Laros do catch meddlers. <laughs> 